promotional photos of Jared Leto's Joker, Rupert Grint gets his own series, and Alien 5 postponed, all this week on Geek This Week. Thank you for joining us this week for Geek This Week, our weekly segment where we bring you our favorite news items of the week and bring them to you in about five minutes. That's right. That's a lot of news in a little time. So let's get it started with Geeked This Week. Fox is currently in negotiations to adapt Neil Gaiman's 2014 children's book, Fortunately the Milk, into a live action animation hybrid. Directed by Edgar Wright. That is, if Edgar Wright ends up following through with this one. Thanks to Empire Magazine, we get another look at some promotional photos of Jared Leto's Joker. Again. Marvel announced plans to release a Phase 2 Blu-ray collector's box set, kind of like the one they released for Phase 1. This one will include a orb from the Guardians of the Galaxy as well as 13 discs. It is set to release on December 8th, right after you take out a small personal loan. Will you be taking out one of those small personal loans? No. <laughs> when the Booster Gold Blue Beetle movie was announced, Nathan Fillion wanted in. Now, Alan Tudyk wants to play sidekick to Booster Gold as the Blue Beetle. The movie will be called Firefly. <laughs> I like that one. Some Assassin's Creed movie photos have been released showing modern day Abstergo. There's no joke. These pictures look fucking awesome. No Man's Sky got an official release window at Sony's press conference this week in Paris. Uh, the window is June 2016 for PS4 and PC. Now you can be even more excited about a game you know nothing about. House of Cards veteran Nathan Darrow has been cast as Victor Freeze, a.k.a. Mr. Freeze, in Gotham the TV series. Going from Golden Globe and Emmy-winning series to Gotham, that's cold-blooded. Games with Gold have been announced for November. For Xbox 360, we have Dirt 3 and Dungeon Siege number 3. And for Xbox One, we have Night Squad and Pneumonia, Breath of Life. Maybe next month they'll finally breathe life into Games with Gold. Ooh. I went there. NBC has committed to a pilot with Harry Potter's Rupert Grint. He'll be starring as the son of a creator of a comic book series titled Imperial City. He believes he's the owner of all nine issues... But in fact, there is a tenth, and not only that, Imperial City is real, and he must save it. Maybe Ron Weasley can finally get the recognition he deserves. Outlast 2 has been announced, with a trailer featuring an upside-down burning cross, and scriptures being read from the Book of Revelations. Sounds like my kind of game. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to do the Sounds like my kind of game. <laughs> yeah. Tony Award winning actor B.D. Wong from Jurassic Park, Oz, and of course Jurassic World has been cast as Hugo Strange in TV's Gotham. Now normally I'd say that was a monster mistake, but monster is a relative term. To a canary, a cat is a monster. We're just used to being the cat. That was deep. Real deep. Hit me right here. It looks like we may have to wait longer for Neil Blomkamp's Alien. The filmmaker tweeted this. Alien is kind of holding pending Prometheus 2. So I shall be working on other things. As much as I love the Xeno and Lieutenant Ripley. Although this is disappointing, we can't help but be hopeful for Prometheus 2. What about you? Are you excited for Prometheus 2? Are you let down? Let us know in the comments below, and we will respond to each and every one of you. So get that conversation going, and we will respond. But until then, like us on Facebook, Twitter, Vine, even Instagram. 
And until next time, stay geeked on. And always like to see you no more. Always.